Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another Notepad++ tip. In this video, we'll learn how you can join lines using Notepad++ without adding additional spaces. Uh, this uh, question came during one of the comments in, in one of the videos. Uh, and if you have been using any text editor like Vim or Notepad++, when you try to join lines, it adds an additional space. So for example, let's say I have these uh, number of lines and I want to join them. I can select them and I can go to edit and go to line operation and join lines right here. Uh, but, but if you notice, it actually adds a spaces in between. And so there might be a time where you don't want to add these additional spaces, right? So if I do control Z, uh, I'm going to enable uh, this show all symbol right here. And so you can see that there are no additional spaces after these words. And even with that, if I try to join, I select all and press Control J. It adds these additional spaces, and that is by 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 a default. And so, is there a way to not do that? And so, I'm going to remove this. Uh, show all characters. Uh, this is basically carriage written and line feed, uh, basically a new line character sort of thing. Okay, so I'm going to remove that, or just not show them. And so, the way in which you join lines without additional spaces is using regular expression. And so there are a number of ways in which you can do that. And so let's go to add it, sorry, search, and go to find. And what we will do is we'll try to find those carriage written line feeds, which is a new line characters, and then uh, just replace it with no character. Okay, so there are different ways to do it in, in, in Notepad++, uh, but uh, let's try this. So the search mode, needs to be changed from normal to either extended or regular expression. So let's try it extended. And that basically adds an additional search for these special character. For example, slash n is a new line character, slash r is a carriage written, slash t is for tab and so on. And so what I'm going to do is I'll search r and n. And what I'm searching here is basically a carriage written and line feed in here. And let's see if it can find out. So I'll put my cursor right at the beginning. And I'm going to click Find New. And you can see that it is able to find. There is no character here or any alphanumerical value here. It's just that uh, character that tells Notepad++ or any text editor that there is a new line here. So if I go to Find Next, it will find the next line here and so on. And so you can see that it is able to find all those in the last one, there is no new line character because, you know, basically th the text ends here. And so now that we have found a way to, uh, you know, uh, find the new line character, let's click on replace here. And here, I'm not going to specify anything here. I'm just going to keep it empty. Okay. Uh, and then let's try to replace. So I'll put my cursor right at the top and then go to find. And then it found that I'm going to click replace and then replace and multiple times. So you can see that using this method, it doesn't add an additional spaces, which, you know, is something that you probably are looking for. And so by using slash R slash N and replacing with no characters, it actually removes those new line characters and then join them together. And so if I close or let's keep this open and let's do control Z. Uh, now that we have tested this, you can actually click replace all and you can see it replace all of them. And now in my case, I had uh, just a few lines, but in, in your case, you may have a lot more, you know, line in your file. And so it's better to test it once. And then once you're confident, then you can just do replace all. So let's try one more example. So here is almost similar thing. Uh, and I'm going to try this here also. So keep the same thing slash R slash N replace it with nothing and I'm going to do replace all. So interesting thing happened here if you notice for the most part it is able to join these lines without any spaces but then there were some additional spaces here and so what exactly happened? So let's do control Z to undo and so what happened here is is actually even though we don't see anything uh, in these lines there are some additional spaces at the end. And so the way in which you can check those out is again go to right here and show all symbols. And so if you notice here, 
there is an additional space right after this word it or, or there are some additional spaces and so often as you are typing some stuff you know you inadvertently you know add some spaces at the end and and because the the text editor doesn't show those you think that that is the end of line but it is not it has some additional spaces and so if if you try to just replace all using you know without any spaces and if you try to replace all you may get these additional spaces which may not be the desirable result and so what can you do in such cases and so notepad plus plus have a feature in which you can remove all the trailing spaces now if you don't have notepad plus uh, plus check out my channel i have a video about how to download and install and set up notepad plus plus so make sure you check that out but in order to remove remove these additional spaces you can go to edit and go to blank operations and right here there are a number of options so what we are looking for is trim trailing spaces uh, not the trim leading space it will remove all the leading space or the spaces before any text and so we are looking for trim trailing space so if i click on that and now if i enable this show all characters you can see that all those spaces are gone if i do control z this was how it was and if i do control y which is redo you can see that all the spaces are gone and so now if i try to replace all you'll see that it is all in a single line uh, without any additional spaces and so you can use this method to remove any spaces uh, join the line and remove any space in, the, is in between you can also instead in this case we didn't do replace with uh, any character but there might be a time where you want to add let's say comma uh, and so in this case if I say comma and I'm going to add a space also uh, and you'll see why because it'll look a little better so uh, comma and space and then I'm going to do replace all and you can see that it added these uh, nice comma and space in between right and so you can do this with any or replace with any character that you would like and so on uh, let's look at one more method uh, so far we looked at slash r slash n there is another way uh, and if I go and for that I need to set my search mode to regular expression and so there is a way to combine these two by using slash uppercase r that's all it, it needs a slash uppercase r takes care of all the line characters or new line characters and so just to search let's go ahead and just find first so you can see that it is able to find all those new character new line characters and so once you are through that make sure you check a little bit and then once you're confident you can click replace all and so there are multiple ways to remove these additional spaces we looked at slash r slash n uh, and we also looked at uh, just capital R slash capital R uh, that also removes any additional uh, new line characters. So I hope you like this video. This was, this was a quick short video about uh, the request from one of the comments. And so if you have similar comments, feel free to add that in a comment section. And I'll make sure that I'll make a video demonstration of those requests. So all right. If you like this content, please click on the like button. And check out my channel. I post new videos about uh, programming, Notepad++, and many other things. So if you like the content, please click on a subscribe button. All right. Thank you.